How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome to a video featuring my 95 Chevy G20 conversion. It's a TMC conversion and it's got uh, 56,000 original miles. Beautiful van. Family loves it. I love it but it has some things that I need to resolve. The biggest thing it's doing is it's got a lot of play in the steering and it pulls off the road. So I started with the basics. The tires on here were extremely old. So I went ahead and changed those out and got some really nice Firestone Destination tires. Uh, these are the stock sides. The tires that we pulled off looked brand new, but they were 21 years old. So they needed to come off. They were from 2000. And so I decided I was gonna swap them out for these Firestones and uh, i love them i think they're great tires and while they did that i said you know what i need to get the alignment done and so i did the lifetime alignment with them they aligned it got the van back and the steering wheel still off and the van still kind of pulls brought it back several times and they just can't seem to get the alignment right so i said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just check all my suspension components and just make sure they're good before i even attempt to bring it back to them and i may be asking for my money back if they can't get it aligned right i'm pretty sure they can get it right as long as all the suspension components are good so i went ahead and uh checked my shocks which i ended up buying some new ones these ones were great so i did not change them out because these were better than the ones i purchased ironically it's very hard to get certain supplies right now i was trying to order several different types of shocks bilstein i could not get they were not available through any store or online so i went ahead and got monroe gabriel's are on there they seem like better shocks so i just returned the monroe's and we'll get under and look at all this i went ahead and checked the uh, tie rods they all seem really good one of the boots is a little torn on this side so i'll be replacing that and re-greasing it but there's no play in them so it seems like those are really good and so what i decided to do after checking some forums is order in some new springs now i got these uh, moog sprit coil springs here they were a little over a hundred dollars online and uh, i've already pulled one side out and if you put them side by side you can see these are this one's compressed a little bit lower specifically in that area if you look it just seems to be a little off i mean they're close don't get me wrong and it might not be the issue but i'm really hoping this is going to help with some of that um mushiness and play up front because even though this van only has fifty six thousand miles over the years it's sat on these springs it's a heavier van than was originally tended because of the high top so and there's a lot of stuff in here with added weight so i figured forums talk about it all the time since springs seem to go on these vans or they get shrunken down so let's go ahead and change them out and that's what we're going to focus on on this video so it's not that difficult to change these springs out you just got to be very careful and cautious because these things are under some heavy load as you can see there and you can see let's go to the other side here i've already changed that one out there oh and also i did my sway bar bushings because um a lot of the play can come from sway bar bushings. so i figured might as well change those out they were very simple you just pull off the two bolts here which we have to take off anyways and you're going to take off your tie rod which you have to pull the pin out pull that down and then you can see here the boots broken here but the there's no play in it so i think this tie rod is actually good uh, we'll go ahead and re-grease that. I want to get a new boot on there. And then we've got to take off the ball joint here. All easy to access, guys. But you want to make sure you have a jack up underneath here. Because once you get your shock off and your um, sway bar here, this thing's going to kind of drop down as long as you've got these this ball joint popped out and that one knocked out as well. So just be very, very careful. I'm going to show you guys the steps through. It's very, very easy. It's a very quick process. You'll lower this down. You got to kind of put your foot on this once you get everything off and you'll pull that old spring out, slide the new one in, and then you just kind of push everything back in, jack it back up, bolt everything back up. So pretty simple. So if you got it there, go ahead and just do it. But you can watch the rest of the video and I'll walk you through each little step. So let's get started now. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our tie rod. We wanna go and remove this safety pin and this keeps the bolt from coming loose um, due to vibrations while driving. So we'll go ahead and pull this out like that. Uh, 24 millimeter socket on here should come loose pretty easily. So the strange thing is I don't know the exact torque specs on these because in order to get that pin back in, you have to tighten it as tight as you can, I guess that's what i did and this will come off nice and easy there as you can see and then you got to line up the hole because when i actually tightened it real tight it passed the hole so i had to back it up a little bit in order to get that safety uh, pin in there so once we've got that bolt off i use a tie rod and removal tool that's the one i use right there you can rent them for free it makes it makes it way easier you could hit this with a hammer but i'm telling you this saves a lot of headaches let me go grab my socket 
And all you gotta do is tighten this up on here. You'll hear it pop and your tie rod will come right out. So it makes it really easy to remove these tie rod ends. All right, tie rod is off and out of the way. And as you can see, you can turn your wheel. Now you probably wanna take your tire off and make it a lot easier, but I'm just gonna do it with the tire on. That's how I did the other side. Uh, I got my 27 millimeter bolt on here after taking my pin out, and that's gonna allow our lower control arm to come down. So we're gonna go ahead and get that loosened up. I went ahead and put a jack there, but we still do have to take off the shock, which is a 19 millimeter, just the lower part of that. And we've gotta take off our sway bar here, just these two bolts. Uh, they're 15 millimeters and there are nuts up underneath our control arm there. So you gotta make sure you access those. Make sure you've got a jack in place before you take off the other items because this can come down. Now we are gonna have to hammer away at our ball joint here to let it drop down. Uh, but just for extra safety, make sure you get the jack under there before you even start hitting it. What I'm gonna do is get this off, hit it with a hammer to loosen it up a little bit, then go ahead and make sure my jack's really in place and take off my back shock and then take off my sway bar link. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got the old one out. Now, some of the key important parts are getting this back in and having these aligned correctly. Your smaller part of your coil is gonna come to the top. The rest of it is pretty much the same size. <clears throat> the larger part on the bottom. And you can see there's a groove where the bottom part of the coil is gonna go. So once you push down on this and slide in, if you have another person, it's way easier. You can, um, well, you wanna get up in there and then kind of slide your bottom piece in. It's gonna be very angled because this is angled, but you wanna make sure this end piece is going to be about like that inside there so it falls right into that groove then you want to get a light up in there while you're sliding this around because there's a little kind of cup thing that this is going to slide into and you just want to make sure that goes into there correctly then you can put the jack back under there jack it up and um, really just get your lower ball joint connected put the nut on top get the um, the uh, tie rod back on i changed out the tie rod as you can see there's a brand new tie rod it's like seven bucks with the discount. I had a $10 off coupon, 17 bucks. And so I decided just to get the whole thing and I had to grease it. But other than that, it came with a grease fitting and all that stuff. So it was pretty nice, not bad. So with that said, I'm gonna put everything back together. Now you're kind of in the safety zone, but you still want to keep that jack there, get everything else connected. Well guys, I got a chance to drive it around a little bit and it is a lot better. It definitely needs an alignment, so I'll be doing an update video. But for those of you who are new to the channel, this is my 1995 Chevy G20. It's a TMC conversion van and I figured why not do a walk around because it is such a beautiful vehicle. It's a beautiful day out right now and I love this van. So a lot of you might be new to the channel and might not have seen this van, but I did do a full ceramic coating on it. It does sit outside in the elements and it's probably been a few months since I've done that. And it looks absolutely stunning. Definitely a big supporter of ceramic coating. 
We did polish the rims out. These were aftermarket rims that came with the van, and now I've got the new tires on there. I just love the way it looks. Hopefully you guys love it too if you're new to the channel. Let's go ahead and open her up because the interior in this van is absolutely amazing. Probably needs a quick clean down, but I did clean it not too long ago. It's got the reclining rear seats. It's got this gorgeous wood up here, guys. I just love the finish on it. Definitely well taken care of. Right now, missing the TV. It does have the VCR and DVD up in there. But we gotta get the TV back in. Front, front seats have a little bit of wear in them, as expected. But this is something I plan on keeping for a very long time. And like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, I do plan on doing lots of videos in the future on this van. We plan on taking trips. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.